Next question is from Jay Emke. What are some of your go-to recovery methods for when you've been overtraining or overreaching? <laughs> we talk about that yeah. all the time, you, right? How we still yeah. do that. Yeah. You, you know well, what I, you we're know what the I, worst to, uh, you know, like we're good at training people, but not ourselves. All the time. Yeah. Because you're always pushing it. Right. Yeah. And especially if you're performance oriented. Um, I'm having a lot of, uh, interesting results from using the red light, the juve. I've I mean, been that, using that daily now. That's well, uh, that's For my recovery or yeah. So, so you know what I did is, so I have the big panel mm -hmm. and I built like a shelf for it and put it up on the wall, mainly for Jessica, right? She, she had a C-section and it helps with uh, wound healing and it also helps with like skin. So for things like stretch marks and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Now she's got, I mean, she's, her skin is incredible. And maybe it's because she's been using the juve the whole time. I'm sure genetics play a role, mm -hmm. but now I have it up on the wall. And what I do when I have time and I, it's typically about four days a week is I'll finish my workout and then I'll go stand in front of the red light and I'll spend about anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes in front of it. And I've been doing it long enough now to notice a bit of an interesting difference. I do notice that I recover faster and I can push harder in my workouts. It's probably been, hmm. I want to say, uh, about two months now of doing it relatively consistently. And um, it's it's noticeable. It's noticeable. Well, it's interesting because I remember when we went to Paleo Effects the second time, like I talked to the CEOs from Juve and that was one of the big things they were trying to promote was the muscle recovery aspect of it. And they did like all these clinical studies with it that, that had proved that there was some value there with it. Uh, and I remember Mercola was, was going through at the time and was very like, uh, you know, insistent that uh, they, they, they prove these benefits. Uh, and, and so they went through this long process with him and actually like had, you know, great results uh, come, come out of their studies. Well, yeah. I, t I tested it myself. I mean, uh, I don't know if you got, I think it was Mercola who I heard say this and I thought, oh, that's a cool way to test this. Cause it's like, how do you know? Right. How do you know for sure it yeah. was that or her, yeah. or maybe her genetic or whatever like so there's things like well i mean this is how i tested it go and squat overreach intentionally and then only juve one one leg juve one leg keep the other one completely oh, so weird yeah, yeah and and then so you did that yes and what, and so and what you, did you, you could totally tell it i could totally tell everything i felt i mean i'll never do it again you know what i'm saying because in terms i felt of like soreness and yeah tightness? like the next the next two days the huh. the leg that wasn't so under, weird yeah i could feel it so that to me that was enough like i was like okay i'm sold you so know? that so for the listeners you can look it up you can look up um actually juve's website uh j-o-o-v-v dot com um uh, and you can forward slash that mind pump but if you go on their site they publish uh, all. They don't publish, but they republish all the mm -hmm. study. And this this red light's been studied for a long time. And essentially, what it does is this wavelength of light promotes uh, the production of ATP in the mitochondria of your cells. This is very important for longevity. For I mean, basically, all of the functions of the body are fueled by the mitochondria and are fueled by the ATP production yeah. of the mitochondria. And so this boosts that. So essentially, it's like turbocharging this energy production. So this is why, you know, skin, you know, looks like it's younger, less wrinkles, hair regrowth happens, all proven again by, by studies um, and recovery, pain, that kind of stuff. So it is very interesting. Um, now, now that we've got that covered, and that was just because yeah. I found that interesting right now, the single best thing you can do for recovery, there's two things that by far will crush anything else mobility, that's bro. out there. Yes. Uh, um, it, is yeah. mobility-based recovery or active recovery. Mm -hmm. So you're sore, you feel tired, go out and do stretching, go out and do some mobility, go out and do some light yoga, like that kind of stuff makes a big difference. And then the second one is if you're really overreached is sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep is the best. There's nothing that'll beat that. Yeah, too. I think that a lot of times it's overlooked in our prime program, the uh, fortification sessions. Mm -hmm. And I think, too, that uh, the cool down. So, so people... Who, like uh, you know, experienced lifters kind of know. Like they, they talk about the warm up, they talk about the cool down, and that sort of became a thing of the past. Uh, and we've sort of uh, flipped the script on how you would warm up and then prime instead for more uh, you know effective uh, methods for your workout. Same thing with the um, you know the cool down process too. Like so to be able to get your body in that parasympathetic state and, and get get there a bit sooner, like going through that that process of going through these poses and really trying to reinforce. Uh, you, you know these mobility uh, in, in your sh in your uh, joints and everything else, and and, and allow your body to calm down. Uh, it, it is a vital process to then being able to recover going into the the next workout. 